Garden to Bego, but the game of floorball goes back to 1970 when it was introduced in Sweden. Now, Tobago is setting a foundation to produce athletes who will compete in this sport on an international level. Floorball, a type of floor hockey, is played indoors with five outfielders and a goalkeeper. It can be played by anyone, including the differently abled. And with the Bakalet Indoor Sporting Facility already under construction, it's a great time for the Division of Sport and Youth Affairs to introduce coaches and potential athletes to the sport. The effort started with a two-day workshop. Floorball being one of the new um, sport being introduced to the island of Trinidad and Tobago, and we saw this as an opportunity so for Tobago to get involved with the onset of an indoor facility coming in, in the not-too-distant future, we thought it best for us to prepare ourselves um, sport-wise, athlete-wise and coach-wise for, in, uh, for an indoor sport. The training was facilitated by Special Olympics Trinidad and Tobago. Special Olympics National Director Ferdinand Bibby believes the sport will have an impact especially on athletes with disabilities, as it's already a popular international sport. Special Olympic athletes have, over the years, been denied the opportunity to be active. So every opportunity you give them to play, they will jump at it. And now floorball, because some of them haven't seen it before, you, you know the attraction of new things, new adventures. So that would provide a uh, genesis for them to get moving. Volleyball coach Nolan Daniel says he'll take what he learned beyond the workshop. The big are kind of people who always have an interest in learning something new. So especially for me, where my volleyball team is concerned, I'm going to try to impart the knowledge that I gathered here today with them and hopefully that they could encourage their families and friends to participate in this sport. In all, 40 coaches on the island participated in the workshop. This has been your Tobago Notes.